What's going on, everybody? I am film director Jackie Terry, entrepreneur. And in this video, I want to talk about self-branding and how important it is to brand yourself. We live in a world where it's technology-based. So everything you can essentially do, people can see. So if you have a natural born talent or a skill, it can be displayed for millions of people all over the world to see. YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, these are all free marketing websites that you can use to promote yourself. The thing about promotion and self-promotion, it's all about consistency. Staying consistent. And at the same time, learning and growing as you develop your skills. This is called growth and development. So my thing with this is when you're self-branding yourself, constantly put out content. I don't care if you get four likes, one like, two likes. Who cares about the likes? As long as you know it's good, keep putting it out. Because eventually people are going to start paying attention. And also, you want to do things that coincide with your audience as well. So, my advice is to essentially target your audience. Know what type of people are watching your product and make content for those people. The rest will follow. My other advice is to develop different skill sets. And what I mean by that is, I'll give you a prime example. If I'm a photographer and that's all I do, that's essentially all I'm going to do. That's it. And it's cool. You can build a really good career path off of that. However, if I want to incorporate another skill set in that as videography, then that opens up a whole nother door. Or if I want to take a step further, if I want to pursue modeling, that opens up a whole nother door. Because I'm already directing models anyway. Oh, how about this? If I want to incorporate acting, or maybe I want to study to be a filmmaker or anything like that. That opens up a whole nother door. So you, we have to realize as people, knowledge is power. But knowledge is also profit when you look at it. So the more skills you learn. And I'm not saying talent. We have that misconception of oh, she or he is talented. It worked with good. No. Talent is going to get you there. The skill is what's going to pay the bill. And that's going to be a lot more than talent when things really get down and dirty and things hit the fan. Because talent, talent is only going to take you so far. Talent is lazy. Talent is unproductive. When we're talented, we're get, we get too cocky. We get too arrogant. So we feel like we don't need to learn anything. But a skill is developed through hard work and dedication and constantly sleepless nights of busting your ass and learning your craft. That's what that skill is going to do. So once you have that skill, that's when you have that profit. So how I became successful and had and how many people around me have became successful is we all incorporated consistency. And we all came up with different ideas together. So you're only as good as the people you surround yourself by. If you surround yourself by unmotivated, lazy people who don't have any ambition for themselves, you're going to turn into that. But however, if you surround yourself by go-getters, People who have ideas and not only have ideas, but they incorporate those ideas. They manifest those ideas. So we can have a, people in this very room right now and we're talking about ideas. However, if we don't manifest those ideas immediately. And I mean immediately. I'm talking about the next day. Then we're going to forget about it. There's ways to 
Take control of your ideas. Write them down. Make a voice memo. Because in reality, we all forget about the ideas we do talk about. We do. However, if you write down or create a voice memo and you go back to it, you can incorporate that idea in a later project. However, I like to move fast. I like to get things done. So the moment we talk about that idea, the next day I'm trying to get it done. And I'm not saying trying, I'm going to get it done. So it's about how you talk. I say, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. No, I'm going to get it done. I can, I will, and I must. So, with that being said, when you're self-branding yourself, I want you to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep learning your craft, and also stay motivated. Because how in the hell are you going to expect people to believe in your craft when you don't even believe in yourself and when you're not even consistent at it? It's not going to work. Finding new ways to develop your skill and your craft and self-branding, just put it out. Put it out. See what works and see what doesn't work. You see, life is about a science experiment. We live in a technological world where we can test our theories out. So if it doesn't work, cool, we'll go to the next plan. But as long as you test it out, because it's better than not trying at all. And then you want to write down your failures and you want to write down your goals and you want to write down what doesn't work. Have a notepad. Write down everything. Document everything so you can go back to it and see what really works for your audience, and what really works for your people. These are just a few quick tips. I'm not giving you the whole thing. However, if you do want me to give you the whole thing, I can. We can meet up. We can set up tutorials. I can show you everything I know that helped me get to the level I'm at. Because in the long run, you're only as strong as the people around you. And if I could teach somebody to be as strong as me, and how to develop true success and how to believe in yourself, how to be independent without having to depend on anybody, then, hey, that's the first step. However, with independence, you do have to have a team. So I want everybody in my circle to be a leader. It's all about being a leader, leading by example, knowing your goals, knowing what you want to be achieve, <laughs> confidence. Not arrogance, confidence. Going in there that you know you can do it and you're going to tackle this project. You're going to get it done and it's on to the next one. The main goal in life is to never be satisfied, but to keep going. Remain humble. Keep counting your blessings, but keep going to that next level. Never be satisfied. Never be content because there's always new levels to reach. I want to say keep God first. Keep good people around you. If it's draining my energy in a negative way, I don't want it. But if it's helping me excel and it's helping me add self-value as well as me adding self-value to other people, then that's what I want. Because in the long run, we can't build this legacy by ourselves, but we can build this legacy together. But it takes a team. There's no I in team. Once again... I am Jackie Terry. This is a quick tip, quick motivational video. If you like it, go ahead and subscribe or just go ahead and share the video. It's all about the knowledge. Remember, knowledge is power and knowledge is also profit. <music>